powered by jets. Wee. <laughs> logical boat design is logical. Also, they're gonna chase me all the way over here, but whatever. I want to get to this boat before the boss kills it, because we need to rescue them. And yeah, yeah, it doesn't tell you until you get near them. In the meantime, we'll go this way at the incredibly fast speed of 34 knots. While people shoot at us. Hello! Did I say you could shoot at me? Then I don't I don't recall saying you could shoot at me. Sir. It's becoming night! Look at this beautiful sunset, by the way. This game has better sunsets than Final Fantasy XIV. He said as he lied. Beautiful sunset go! And the sun's gone. Woohoo! It's actually not quite gone. There you go. Beautiful! We've received an SOS from the ship I've already been going. You still want to get what game? Final Fantasy XIV? It's 25% off at Green Man Gaming. Secondary yeah, yeah, objective whatever. added. You there! I'm coming to rescue you. Please do not spontaneously combust. That would be much appreciated. Pluggy Joe 2. Hey, Green Man Gaming's not paying me. Just saying. It's become awfully wavy suddenly. Has the weather suddenly changed? Or has it always been this wavy and I just haven't been paying attention? Will I be playing that today? Uh, probably not. I recorded a little bit of it this morning. I unlocked Scholar uh, in Final Fantasy XIV this morning. I don't think you have to be right next to it, but you do have to be pretty close to these ships to do this. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Reverse engine. Hello, boss man. Please don't come murder me with your missile launchers and stuff. I'm giving you a customized laptop for graduation so you can use it in college. If your parents wouldn't were intelligent, they wouldn't get you one that could run games. She's got some sweet headphones going there. Same. Headset, whatever. Ear noise makey thing mutt things, whatever they are. No one seems to know what command does, Secondary it's just there. Complete. Well all I know is more command is better, so. Get, get more command, do better. That's the general gist of things. Now, the next task is to ignore the boss again. He's gonna shoot at me. He's gonna shoot very angrily at me. Please stop shooting at me. And the reason I'm ignoring him is if you look closely on the map along the shoreline here, I don't think I'm fast enough to actually get the one I want. There's two enemy dots next to the shoreline. I think the one we want is the northern one. But I may not be capable of actually doing that very easily. So that's the thing. Also, he turned green. I just realized that. That ship turned from uh, blue to green, so I, I'm guessing green is like a third non-involved party, I guess, so no one targets it. Boss music's beginning to be annoying. Yeah. It's not the best boss music, and you'll hear it a lot. So, I think that's... Boat. Anyway, there's two enemy transport vessels. Uh, along the shoreline. I don't know if both- yeah, there it is right there. I don't know if both of them have parts, but I do know for a fact that the northern one has a treasure. So, this one may just be like a repair or an ammunition or something, I'm not exactly sure. 
We should be able to handle the boss anyway. Shouldn't need to worry about that. And I probably should kill those other boats down there too. Kill them both? I'm gonna try to. Usually stuff like, uh, stuff that gives you treasure will leave eventually. So they'll sit there for a while and then eventually they'll just straight up leave. So. Does my cruiser have anti-sub weapons? No. He started moving. I'm curious if that means the other one's gonna start moving. Do you just mass machine guns so they can shoot down missiles and other projectiles? Usually, yes. My screen's really blurry for whatever reason. Looks fine on the recorded end. It's just really blurry on my end. Stop engine, reverse engine, full, full speed, speed ahead. ahead. Stop engine, reverse engine, full speed ahead. So you're gonna hear that a million times. I'm gonna go right by the boss, so this is probably gonna hurt a little bit. There are no subs on this map, so... Having anti-sub weaponry is actually kind of pointless. You know what I forgot to do? Is set up uh, aircraft on this. I completely forgot about that. How's it going, boss man, McBoss McGee? McGee, whatever your name is. The next one? Oh yeah, probably. Major damage to enemy ship three. Hooray! It doesn't really mean anything. I think it actually means the fight gets a little bit harder, but hooray! Our attack's hitting him hard. Oh, it means we do more damage. I wonder if it makes him angrier. It doesn't appear to. Alright, he's off. Is that other boat still? There it is. Surprisingly. Imagine if I had a ship that size. Imagine how powerful I would be. He is bombarding the shore, yeah. Thankfully, our objective is not to protect the shoreline. If it was, this would be a lot harder to do. To get these uh, two boats, two transports. Because he kills the shore buildings really rapidly. Thankfully, we don't have to protect them. We just have to kill the balls. And he just loops endlessly in a circle. He'll never leave. He'll never, you know, wander off somewhere. He'll never change his rotation. He just goes in a circle. All day, every day, despite apparently having damaged engines. I don't really know how his engines got damaged, but apparently he has damaged engines. Let's shoot the ground. Take that, ground. Why am I so quiet? New mic or something? I don't know. It's, it's I don't know what's wrong with it. XSplit just seems to uh, have really quiet microphone pickup now. <laughs> sure, we finished bombing the shoreline. What do we do? Just keep going in circles, men. Yeah, that boat's just chilling there. Sometimes uh, these boats will be on a timer, so 15 minutes in they'll start moving. Uh, and eventually leave the map. This one appears to just sit there forever. So that's a the thing. They're all called U transports or YU transports. Uh, and the flying version is always called uh, cargo planes. The ground version is always called just a like a land base or something like that. I can't remember exactly. And then there's an underwater one, which is just called an underwater base. Why you transport this? Oh, he's moving. Oi! I say you could move. I did not. Look at that. Parts. I like parts. I probably want to kill all those little boats as well. I think I mentioned that, but... Because they're likely going to drop some parts or some funds or something, which is always good. So this is going to be a really long and slow mission. Sorry, I guess. <laughs> Probably should have stuck with the destroyer just because it was faster, but it's alright. I don't know what you were shooting at, sir, but well done, I suppose. Oi, no! 
Don't turn there, come back this way. I have to murder you. I guess I'll murder your friends, which appear to be actually shooting at me. It really wasn't a bad shot, considering the range. I actually don't know the range, because it's so far away. Yeah, I only lost 10 knots, but 10 knots over the span of, you know, 30 minutes is quite a lot of land covered. Or, well, sea covered. Distance covered. The box is bigger than the ship? It is. Sir, they're shooting at us. What do we do? It's alright, they suck anyway. <laughs> Such inaccuracy. Good lord, man. Whoop. I have attracted the attention of two fleets. That's a bit suboptimal. This is a Destroyer 1936B. Light damage. Wow. Enemy ship sunk. I prefer them not hitting me at all, because it doesn't actually hurt. Am I a missile cruiser? Does this look like missiles? A battleship Scharnhorst. I need to kill the destroyers, probably, actually. I also need to get a little bit closer. Enemy ship sunk. Low enough, all the things taking more damage than I wish. I wish I was taking zero damage from this, quite frankly. Stop it. Enemy ship sunk. There is a repair kit over there though, so it's alright. Turn into them. Enemy ship sunk. Because I have things to pick up over yonder direction, so we may as well turn this way. With one damage. By God. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Looks like I can one-shot those. Enemy if a full sunk. volley hits. Or I'm just getting really lucky. Enemy ship sunk. Oh, no. Oi. Enemy ship sunk. Look, funds. I like funds. What is that? A repair kit. Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. This isn't even really that many shots being fired, quite frankly. I believe you get bonus points for having extra repair kits. There's parts back there. Where did those come from? So there, I don't think there's any reason not to pick up repair kits, even though I already have, well, now four of them. I'm just going to fire somewhat randomly into the midst of those ships over there. I'm surprised I'm hitting anything, quite frankly. There we go. That's better. Now we're broadsiding things. That's a battleship. I'll shoot that first. Shoot the destroyer's game. Let me target that destroyer. That one. There we go. And once again, oh, I'll just accidentally blow that guy up. It's cool. Cool guys, I got this. I am ramming the crap out of that battleship. Oh hi! There's the boss. How's it going? Just, you know, having a good day, I see. Is that parts? No, it's fun. I keep forgetting what the boxes look like half the time. Just wait till I get a battleship, man. That'll be a joyous day. By the way, when you destroy the leader of a group of ships, uh, who what double post? I don't see a double post. If you destroy the the leader of a group of ships, the whole group just stops for a little bit. Basically, it keeps them from doing anything for a little bit. Not really anything all that useful. The last group is over yonder. Forty knot battleship. <laughs> More like 100 knot battleship. No, I'm kidding. You can't really get more than 40 to, to 50 without having really advanced... Sorry, I hit the desk there. Without having really advanced engine parts. What are they shooting at? Are they shooting at the... Shooting at the dock. How very rude. Blowing up our containers. Stupid auto keyboard? You have an auto keyboard. 
It's an auto keyboard. How does it work? Oh, hey! I'm over here, you idiots! Look, I shot at you! Turn around! Fight me like men! I.e. actually looking at me. Alright, well, I'll just shoot you, whatever. They appear to be content to not look at me at all. The amount of damage these volleys do at this point is a bit ridiculous. Don't mind me, just, you know, cutting across. I didn't kill you. I didn't kill that guy, though. Still didn't kill you. Jeez. And one more, it looks like. Any parts around? Nope, nothing. Just a bunch of dinghies. You, sir! You're in a dinghy! What are you doing? There's not actually anyone in that dinghy. There's not anyone in that dinghy anymore, so it'll be alright. Whenever you hold the shift button to find the percent, it makes it go to sticky keys. You know you can just turn that off. I don't know anyone that even uses sticky keys. Or you could clean your keyboard more often with them too. I'm kidding. <laughs> just in case people get super offended by that. I've turned uh, sticky keys off ages ago. Now for the boss. Yes, he is literally the only thing left on the map. So I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get like right next to him and just start shooting. He is faster than me though. So old people use it. I don't know anyone that uses it. They should use caps lock if they want that. Let's be honest here. Those don't actually do the same thing, but whatever. Details. I used to have the issue all the time when I was playing games that required me to hit shift fairly often. Which isn't very many, usually it's just me being a derfus. Uh, but I would have that issue all the time where I just hit shift a bunch of times. That's a lot of misses. And then end up screwing myself over with like a sticky keys pop up, and he should be dead here soon enough. It is, indeed. Look at the size of the boat, by the way. Hello! Enemy torpedo? Thankfully, that's irrelevant, because I'm just sitting here broadsiding the, the captain's office here. We win! Yeah, it was World of Tanks that actually that made me do it. I would hit shift a lot and do that. To zoom in and out all the time. The only reason I have more firepower than a super weapon is because they're retarded. They put all of their training into accuracy. I put all of my training into reload. And we're not going to exit because bosses drop a bunch of boxes. Usually they also drop a bunch of dinghies, but apparently this one just didn't have any people on it. Or they all exploded and died in the boat. One of the two. So that's it. That's our first boss battle. Also, there's an optics thing. I don't have anything. I don't usually use that either, so whatever. Withdraw. Yes, now, please. Hooray! I am OP. This is a pay-to-win game. I bought all of the DLC and now I'm horribly OP. This, this game was before the era of DLC. This, this game was before the era of easily patching games as well, so everything that's wrong with it has been wrong with it for years. I don't remember where I got this game from. It's the original box, so I didn't get it from uh, like a used sh uh, shop or something like that. May have just got it for Christmas or something, I don't remember. It was quite a while ago. 14,000. A mine detector system. Called a face. That's how you detect mines. And the secret blueprints are the... Like the historical kind of boats. <laughs> what have you done to Sleepy? Good lord. You have a question about World of Tanks. How are you able to play as an Arturity? Arturity? 
That's not a word at all. You pick an artillery and then you play as an artillery? That would be how I play as artillery. My spieling! You're spieling indeed, sir. I'm sitting on my pants. It is very uncomfortable. I wish I was butt naked. It would be much more comfortable. An offensive in Europe? Invading Germany? Well, that's all sorts of backwards. That's not how this works. And of course they're deploying a giant super weapon that it will be my turn to murder because that's how this works. Relocate to Britain. We get to go save Britain from stuff. Yay, Britain stuff or something along those lines. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. What else is new? I feel extremely reassured with you around, woman with large breasts, who is apparently a doctor. Hmm. Are, am I a super weapon? Basically, yeah. Oh, it's this mission. I remember this mission. We have to clear out the Panama Canal before we actually work our way over there. Basically, we start in Hawaii, and we work our way pretty much all the way around the globe, essentially. So we have to go through the Panama, and then we'll have a bunch of missions in the Atlantic, and then over in Europe, and then northern Russia, and that kind of stuff. Does anyone have any ideas? Yes, let's take the... Uh you know, the super weapon that we're currently sitting in and blow everyone up. I will save his island from the father motherland. Wait, what? Oh god, it's this mission. Oh god, this mission. Why has it got to be this mission? I thought we were doing Panama Canal, but we have to do the one before the Panama Canal. Oh god, this mission. <laughs> I don't like this mission at all. It's a terrible mission. Why does this mission exist? Why don't we use the submarine? Yeah, that's a great idea, except it moves at like four knots. This is literally... One of the easiest missions in the game. The only problem with it is you go like four knots <laughs> in a submarine at this point in the game. Because you don't have anything researched for it. It's ridiculously slow. All hands, prepared to bear the... What? Prepared to bear? That's not right at all. Floating dock Skidball Bladnir has been improved. I can hold two more vessels, as if that's a thing you would do. Let's look at our R&D, shall we? Let's not, actually. <laughs> How about that? I'm gonna go ahead and end the actual recording set here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save it. And then we'll come back next time and do R&D and stuff like that. And horrible submarine missioning, because that's always fun times. So for the people on the recorded end of this, I will see you all next time.